हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट इफ द मोटर ड्राज इन द केबल विद एन एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ थ्री मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वेयर डिटरमाइन द रिएक्शन एट द सपोर्ट ए एंड बी द बीम हैज़ अफॉर्म मास ऑफ थर्टी के पर मीटर एंड द क्रेट हैज़ अ मास ऑफ टू हंड्रेड we are requ- uh, it is said that neglect the mass of the motor and pulleys right so we have to neglect the masses of motors and pulleys so first of all what we need to do is that we need to find a relationship between the acceleration of this rope with which it is pulled and the acceleration of this mass right so in order to develop that relation first i will draw a free body diagram so let's say that let's say that this is let's say point t right so if if this is my datum line if this is my datum line right so from here to here this will be our the position coordinate for this mass c right so this sc will define the position of this uh, mass c in the downward direction that is in the positive direction so this is our positive sense of the position coordinate for this mass c right and similarly uh, we can see that the position of this point t from this datum line is st right so this is st and the downward direction uh, of the motion of this point t is considered to be positive so both of these are in the po- in the positive direction right so first of all we need to write the equation for this rope right so we can write that the length of this rope is sc so i will write sc plus this length right so this length is sc minus st so i will write sc minus st and this will be equal to the length of the rope and if i remove these brackets so sc plus sc so this is 2 sc and from this we can write that if i take the derivative of this equation with respect to time then this will be 2 vc minus vt these are the velocities right 2 dsc by dt will give us the velocity right and since the length of this particular rope is not changing so the derivative of this with respect to time will become zero and now if i take one another derivative then this velocity will give us the acceleration so this will be the acceleration of that mass c minus the acceleration of that point t and this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that ac equals to at divided by 2 so now we are given that the acceleration of this point t is 3 meter per second square in the upward direction and according to this convention the upward direction is negative right so this means that at is equal to minus 3 meter per second square so from this equation we can find ac we can write that ac is equal to minus 3 divided by 2 so which gives us minus 1.5 meter per second square so again we get minus sign here so what does this mean is that when that point t is moving 3 meter per second square in the upward direction this mass c will move with an acceleration of minus 1.5 meter per second square in the upward direction so this means that this mass is accelerating in the upward direction now since we need to find uh, the reactions at the supports so f- what we need to do is that in the next step we need to find the tension in this particular cable right so now uh, if i consider the free body diagram now if i consider this pulley and mass right so here we have that box and here we have the rope and this rope is one continuous rope so let's say that this is the detention in rope let's say or the tension in cable and the mass since the mass of the pulley is is negligible so we will only consider the mass of this uh, block c and its mass is 200 kg so 200 times 9.81 is its weight which is acting vertically downward so let's say we need to be consistent with our positive directions right with our positive position coordinates so let's say our positive y direction is in the downward direction 
and as we know that uh, from this we can see that the acceleration of this block c is 1.5 meter per second and it is acting in the upward direction so this is a c minus 1.5 meter per second square so if we apply the equation of kinetics if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a y and this is the positive y direction right so as we can see that this t or the tension in the rope is acting in the negative y direction so i have to write minus let me write it here so this is minus t r minus t r right this is the summation of forces along y equals to m a y minus t r minus t r and plus this is acting in the positive y direction so i have to write plus 200 into 9.81 and this will be equal to the mass of the block which is 200 so 200 into a y is a c right and this is a c and a c is acting in the negative y direction so that is minus 1.5 uh, meter per second square so this is minus 1.5 meter per second square so these two will add up so we will have minus 2 t r minus 2 t r and from this we can add it minus 2 t r will be equal to 200 minus 1.5 minus 200 into 9.81 so we can find it if i write 200 i take 200 common so this is minus 1.5 plus uh, 9.81 this is with minus sign so this gives us uh, minus 20 to 62 and if we divide it by minus 2 so we will get the value of the tension in the rope right so i will divide it by minus 2 so this is 131 newtons so the tension in the rope is 1131 newtons now we are required to find the reactions at the supports at this point a and this point b so now if i draw the free body diagram of that beam right here we have that beam so at this point a here we have that point a so we will have since it's a pin joint so we will have two reactions so we will have a x reaction and we will have a y reaction which will be acting vertically upward and similarly since here we have the roller support so we will have only one reaction let's say that reaction is b and here if we can if if i cut this rope so here uh, at a distance of 2.5 meters from that point a we will have the tension right so let's say that this is that tension T, uh, TR which is 1131 newtons right so this is 1131 newtons similarly again we will have that same tension here at the mid length of this beam which is uh, the total length of this beam is 6 so again we will have that tension 1131 newtons at the midpoint of this beam this is 1131 newtons and similarly uh, the beam has a uniform of mass of 30 kg per minute right so the total mass total mass of beam will be 30 kg per meter multiplied by its total length so its total length is uh, 2.5 plus 0.5 is 3 and 3 plus 3 is 6 so it is 6 so the, ma the total mass of the beam is 180 kgs and the weight of this beam will be acting at the mid length right so again we can represent that here we will have that weight which will be acting at the midpoint that is the line of action of this weight and the line of action of this tension will be along the same line right so this is 180 times 9.81 and this distance is 3 and this distance is from here to here this distance is 2.5 and this is 0.5 remember so now to find the reactions if i apply we need to apply the statics concepts right so now if i apply since the beam is in equilibrium so we, we can apply the summation of a moment about point a equals to zero so as we can see that this reaction at point b is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point a so i will write uh, the, the moment arm of this b is six so i will write six b and this is producing the counterclockwise moment and the counterclockwise moment is considered as positive right now 
this tension is producing the clockwise moment so i will write minus this is 11 31 into 2.5 the moment arm Similarly, this is also producing the clockwise moment. So, I will write minus 11, 31 into 3. The moment arm of this tension, uh, this rope tension is uh, 2.5 plus 0.5. So, this is 3. And this weight is also producing the clockwise moment. So, I will write minus 180 times 9.81. And the moment arm for this weight is also 3 from that point A. So, this is equal to 0. And if I bring these three terms to the other side of the equation, so their signs will become positive. So I will find this using calculator. So this is 1131 into 2.5 plus 3 plus 180 into 9.81 into 3. And if I divide this whole sum by 6, so we will get the reaction at point B. So, answer divided by 6. So, this gives us the roller support reaction, right? So, this B is 1919.65 Newtons. Now, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 and this is our positive y direction in this per, in this free body diagram this is our positive x and y direction right so we can write that this ay is acting in the positive y direction so i will write a y this is acting in the negative y direction and this is acting in the negative y direction so i have to write minus 2 into 1131 minus this weight and plus this b which is acting in the positive y direction and b is 19 19.65 and this is equal to 0 this is minus 2 into 11.31 minus 180 into 9.81 plus 19.19.65 19, so so this gives us ay equals to minus 2108 so this is ay a minus 2108.15 equals to 0 and we can say that ay is equal to 21 uh, 2108.15 newtons and similarly now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 if this is our positive x direction so as we can see that there is only one uh, support reaction in the x direction so this means that a x is equal to zero so this is the reactions at point a and these are this is the reaction at the roller support at point b and this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood the solution of this problem Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and like this video if you people want me to continue uh, solving such more problems.